Matt, this has a makings of a fun exhibition. I can see that by just walking in. But what was the idea behind it? Well, Beyond Beastly has the tag um, Creatures Natural and Imagined. And so we're looking at um, mythological creatures and their origins and, and people's imaginings about them. But we're also looking at the transition towards a natural or rational scientific understanding of the natural world. Well, you're standing in front of a unicorn. Now, that is myth. Yes, but is it? Um, uh, one of the things that we're exploring in this exhibition is, is where the boundaries between myth and reality lie. And he, here we have a unicorn, and here we have a unicorn's horn, and that's a real object. That's a narwhal tusk. Um, and so it's on the um, a, 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 a big blown-up um, illustration from... Johannes Johnson's Natural History of um, Quadrupeds. And here um, is Albrecht Dürer's rendition of a rhinoceros in that book, but it's alongside illustrations, multiple illustrations of unicorns in the same book. Um, and so we've contrasted that with you know, pop cultural references of unicorns, in, 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 both in case and out, um, a tooth of a woolly rhinoceros and an account of the sea unicorn being discovered um, um, and, and displayed in London. Um, and that these are things that are drawn from our own collection. Um, another example of the kind of things that we're displaying is a case of sea monsters. Now, uh, we, uh, I would say, still have sea monsters in our imaginings. We've just transitioned them to giant sharks and plesiosaurs and Temnodontosaurus. Here, here we've got um, a jaw of a Temnodontosaurus ichthyosaur, similar to the Rutland sea dragon that was discovered last year. Um, so all of the things in this case um, are natural things, but they're set alongside pop cultural references to sea dragons. Uh, we've got giant shark's teeth, and we've got the man from Atlantis. Um, we've got uh, here is a uh, Rizzo's dolphin skull from the last great interglacial, and this is from Twerton. Um, and we've got here the limb bone of a plesiosaur that's had the whole end of it bitten and crunched in by a much bigger predator. So I really want people to think about where the boundary between myth and reality lie. Um, we still make films about dinosaurs and them hunting us and for me that's still the dragon. The beauty of this exhibition is yes there's plenty of myth, yes it's fun but a lot of objects from your collection here and maybe that's something the vast majority of Barthonians are still not aware of. Yeah We've got a very rich collection that's over 150,000 objects in our collection and we've just drawn from a few here. We've made it quite object rich and there's plenty to discover. There's plenty of information uh, of quite an academic leaning but there's also plenty of fun for kids or for anyone of any, any background. You're bound to find something of interest to you here. I think what's going to bring the biggest smiles apart from the fact that it is fun is that it's free. Yeah, we're very glad um, to make our exhibitions uh, free. We do encourage people to make donations if they can, and we've, we've um, decorated our donations plimps that says, um, and now they're beastly business. Um, so if you're able to make donations, that's great, but most of all, we want people to come and enjoy a new aspect, a new look, a new narrative from our collection. A uh, fun exhibition, Matt, and it's running, what, through at the summer? It's, it's open now. It's open um, Monday to uh, Saturday, 10 till 4, all the way through till the 1st of October. Good luck. Thank you.